Welcome, everybody. Major League Baseball Odds Couple Show. Jamie James once again sitting in for Pistol Pete. All right, we're filming this on a Friday afternoon, taking a look at the overnight lines because we're going to put some picks out. I am anyway for Saturday. So with that being said, Double J, thanks. You've been filling in like a champ, yeah. getting it done. And uh, we're going to get into this right now. We're, and again, we're just going to go over the picks. It's overnight lines, so yeah. there can be some advantage or there could be some disadvantage. All right, Pittsburgh is playing at Milwaukee. All right, Ivan Nova is on the on the mound. He mm -hmm. has really, really fitted nice in Pittsburgh all right, since he's gotten there. Milwaukee, this team mailed it in a long time ago. They're going to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh's in a must-win situation. they got to keep the, you know, the pedal to the metal. So I'm going to go the run line on the full game. Now, that is not out yet, but with the money line where it was at, the run line should be about plus 110. All right, and again, we will put the figure up when we uh, finish the video. What do you think of Pittsburgh? Any call on that? Uh, no, call, no call on that game. I mean, uh, I personally, I yes. just hate, I, I would never do an overnight uh, overnight bet because the way I bet, Mike, is all about where the public money is, where the square money is, what the intrinsic value that's been built in, and I can't see these numbers on a, an overnight play. Absolutely. That's respect. I like that angle. And again, viewers, that's kind of like betting like the bookie right there. All yeah. Right. But I mean, from like a pure, pure punditry point of view, even though you're talking about the sport, then you would think that Pittsburgh Absolutely. would get the job done. And you done. know what? In the month of August on, on our Friday show for Saturday, overnight lines, all right, I hit the week, the overnight lines for Saturdays, I hit over 82%. This Did month. you? Yeah, I got lucky. It was wow. luck. It was lucky. So That's we'll just, some pretty impressive work, mate. Yeah, well, it was luck. Again, yeah. it was a great, a great, I mean, a lot of skill goes into it, but August was beautiful. So let's Perfect. just hope September can get into it. Now, Baltimore's taking on the Yankees. CC Sabathia, he's towing the rubber double J for the Yankees. And this guy, he's getting older. He's getting tired. All right, Baltimore, they they got to keep it on right now. The pressure's got to stay on. Gausman's on the mound. Struggling a little bit, but at home, he's a hell of a lot better. I like this. Full game money line. I got Baltimore at minus 140. Again, Yankees, they, they, they got nothing to play for except pride. He's, he's been around for like ever, hasn't oh, he? Oh, God, God, he's been through two rehabs. He uh, <laughs> took out a tree and a truck back in Dominican Republic five years ago for real. How old is he? He's 43 years old, and he is still kicking. This guy's still kicking, but guess what? I think the only thing kicking tomorrow is going to be his ass getting kicked by Baltimore, baby. For real, Double J. Yeah, I just can't. I mean, uh, ever since he's like watching baseball, he's just been around, hasn't yes. he? He's just like been around forever. Exactly. You're waiting for this guy to he just finally... He must be banking some coin. He has to be. He uh, has to be. He's had a rough ride, though. Trust me. It <laughs> has not been easy. So my hat's off to you, CC, for knocking down that problem, getting rid of that demon. For real, hats off. But tomorrow, it's not going to happen. Tiger... I mean, uh, Baltimore's going to bring it to you. And Double J, I got two plays in this last game. Tigers are at Kansas City, all right? Mm -hmm. Michael Fulmer, toe in the rubber for the Tigers. This kid is really, really just solid. He's dependable, and he's going to get it done. Now, Ventura is on the mound for Casey. This is a nutcase, this guy. He's the one that, I mean, he literally, his police record and all this, the stuff he has, the drama off the field, it's amazing he can concentrate to pitch. But he's damn good. But the second part of the season, three years in a row now, this is when he fades. This is when he gets tired. And I'm telling you right now, I love it. The Tigers, first half money line, minus 110. And the full game money line, minus 107. So you, like think, you think he's going to tire out? He gets tired. Yes, he gets tired. Like, we knew a guy one time that got tired. His name was Teddy. That's yeah, right. Tired Teddy. Remember him? <laughs> yeah. That was a But hell. yeah, but no, I mean. Uh, you never had time seriously in Columbia with Teddy? That's, we left him there. He's that's, still there. That's for another day. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, no, I mean, like I said, overnight, very, very difficult. Um, I like your strategy there, but like I said, me, I don't make any overnight plays. It's hard enough picking them in uh, on the day, of the day of the game, five minutes before the game, when you've had all the money and you can see all the analysis. So kudos, respects you, mate, for doing the overnight because that's a very, very difficult thing to do. Absolutely, and that's what we do here. We take the risk, but also we study it, we break it down, we try to beat that book. And with that being said, check out OCDpicks.com. That's right, it's our free plays every day. And also, make sure you get started and open it up or finish and open up your new accounts for football. It's right around the corner, guys. You've got to take advantage of these bonuses. I mean, there is some great bonuses, 50%. Uh, I believe one of them even has an 80%, all right, free play bonus. So jump in there, get the best value, and play with the guys that are rated high because guess what? They're going to pay you. Let's get it done. Let's beat that book. Yeah, and thanks for having me here this week. It's been an absolute pleasure. Yep. So Pleasure's have, ours. Yeah, I won't have to have that alarm going off ar, 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 <laughs> tomorrow morning. So I'm gonna have I a, don't know. If Pistol what? Pete doesn't come back, Double J, we may be ringing uh, your phone, and guess what? That alarm's going to be going off. And listen to this one. My, my, getting up early has been doing a bit of my head in. I went across the road earlier on to get a quick beer before I came in. <laughs> they never had my normal beer there, so I'm drinking away. I'm thinking, this tastes a bit different. It's a bit funny. It was a non-alcoholic beer. 
man. And they sold it to you. Yeah, and, and, I, and I enjoyed it. <laughs> Uh-oh, we might be going a new route, yeah. Double J. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Beat that book. Most importantly, bet responsibly. If you like Captain American football, there's 50,000 dead presidents on the line in this year's Bait the Prick contest. In case you ain't fucking guessed, I'm the prick. Click on the link below for more info. I'm ready to stomp some ass. This is going to be my best performance yet. So join today. It's free, you fucking squares.